imagine stepping off an airplane here in Bombay, walking to the luggage carousel, picking up your check bag, and then what if I asked you to lift that 20 kilo bag to your head and walk six kilometers to the suburb of Bandra? Do you think you'd be able to do it? Do you think you'd even attempt it? In reality, this is the trip that hundreds of millions of women and girls make every single day. But they're not carrying their luggage, they're carrying water. One in seven people globally lives more than a kilometer from the source of the water that they drink. And not much has changed about the way waters move from point A to point B. It's 20 liter containers carried on the head. And you know what? Water is heavy. Carrying this water causes chronic pain in the head, neck, back, and shoulders. It leads to compression and curvature of the spinal column, which can even lead to death during childbirth. For women like Pepe Devi here, they struggle to collect the 20 liters per person per day that an individual needs to stay healthy and hydrated. Everything you need for cooking, washing, cleaning, drinking. Pepe is only able to really provide her family with about five liters per person per day. On top of that, the water that she's spending so much time collecting isn't always safe to drink. 80% of the global disease burden is caused by waterborne illness. And the single most effective way of preventing these illnesses is hand washing. So easy, right? Wash your hands. But when you only have five liters of water per day, every single drop is precious. Compounding that is the fact that collecting this water takes a lot of time. Women spend 25% of their time each day, six hours on water collection. And let's face it, women have way better things to do with their time. There's a misconception that the poor don't value their time. If that's the case, why is this woman carrying 40 liters on her head, double the typical amount? Study after study shows that when women have the opportunity to earn income, they spend their income in smart ways, education, medicine, food for their families. Case in point, education, right? These girls spend their time collecting water. 75% of, gr of girls between the ages of 15 and 17 in Rajasthan drop out of school because of the pressure on their time. The time, physical, and health burdens of water collection combine to trap families in a vicious cycle of poverty. But this is where Wello comes in. By reframing the water crisis as an opportunity, we've reinvented the wheel. And this is it. <laughs> Thank you. So this is our water wheel, and I'm thrilled to introduce you to it today. You're actually um, one of the first audiences to ever see it. It's only a couple weeks old. We spent the last 18 months in an intensive human-centered design process, spending a lot of time in the field, listening more than anything else to women like Shantar Bai, who helped us understand what are the features that people want to see in a product like this that would make it valuable for them. And here's what we've come up with. More than anything else, <laughs> more than anything else, time is money, and people value convenience. So by using a water wheel, a woman is able to recover 35 hours in a week. Just think about how many times you've said, oh, I wish I had one extra hour in the day. What would you do with 35? The water wheel is as easy to push as a baby stroller. Our cap and cap design prevents recontamination at the point of use, enabling people to store clean water in their homes. It's durable. We designed it in rural Rajasthan to roll over rough, rocky, sandy terrain. Um, the form is inspired by the traditional matka shape, which is a signal to people that it's to be used for clean water. And finally, in recognition of the fact that the people who need products like this the most have the least ability to pay for them, we innovated a business model that's built on incredibly slim margins that pushes us to go to scale and have the impact we want. So our goal is to meet, reach a million people in the next five years. But there's more. The water wheel, is, we envision it as a, a platform for a whole range of component devices, things like filtration, drip irrigation, Energy generation, what if you could roll one of these and charge your cell phone or a solar lamp or chill your water? 
And finally, these are rolling billboards. They attract a lot of attention in the communities where they're going to be deployed. So what if we could use the space on the wheel for advertising and social marketing messages? Reminders like, hey, don't forget to wash your hands now that you have so much more water. Finally, I'd like to introduce you to Partu. Partu's 17, and she's from a community in the Thar Desert in rural Rajasthan. She's our first water wheel user, and she makes one trip every day now to collect water. She's attending school more regularly than ever before. In fact, she says she now wants to go on to university. She's become a role model in her community. There are millions of girls like Partu across India starving for opportunity, and we're really looking forward to meeting more of them. We're launching our first pilot this week, um, so we're, we're rolling to Rajasthan in a few days. Thank you.